and this is Israel. And uh, today we are actually coming at you with a, with a little bit of a late review for the AMC collectible Spider uh, across, across the Spider Verse Spider Gwen uh, head um, popcorn bucket. It's very funny because I actually hated this one. Yeah, I know our last video we said they freaked us out. They do freak um, you out. Just the, the design there. a little bit kind of freaks you out. Still sitting there right now oh. for me, it freaks me the heck out. I mean, look at she has no neck. Yeah. Where's her neck? So, Why is that a hood there? Like I know, I know the costume has a hood. I just feel like it might have been translated a bit wrong on this. Um, but we were actually fortunate enough to come across this when we went to AMC to uh, correct the problem with the Optimus bucket. So we saw them there. We had to snag them. Um, yeah. I thought we had missed them, but thankfully we at least got Spider Gwen. The funny part about it is, is we got it, and I was like, "Well, she's creepy as heck." And I was like, "Yeah, but you know." As a collector, you'll probably regret it later. So I was like, fine. Yeah, Spider Man fans, yeah, too. I, I'm a huge Spider Gwen fan, so I'm glad we're out to yeah, God. But as yeah, as a collector of buckets and, you know, not just buckets, but actually Spider Man and, every, you know, all the buckets we're collecting is because we're fans of all these things. Yeah. But I was like, okay, that's true because, I mean, in one way, she is very cool, but the only thing that curious me out, she has no f neck or no form. Or, yeah. I mean, it would have been cool if it was a bust because it's perfect, it's cool, it really is cool, it's nice, you know, the weight. But she's freaky. Yeah, I wish, I wish we could have gotten at least one Miles Morales, but like I said, we completely missed them. So, but I, I'm, at least I'm glad we got her. I'm guessing we got so, her easy, though. The reason she was probably there is because she creeps people out. Yeah. So, as you can see, this is how she looks. There's a front there. Um, side. That's the back. The popcorn goes into here, which I'm not really a big fan of the way it would work. Um, so, that's how it opens up there, and that's how the inside looks. So as you can see there, I thought that might have come out, but it doesn't. It's kind of annoying. Like, um, popcorn, you'll be hitting that all the time. Yeah, because I know um, in the ads for them, when they first announced them, it shows popcorn to the eyes of Miles Morales. So I wasn't sure if maybe the, like, the masks or the eyes opened, or that was just something they did for, um, it's like a gimmick to show what it goes, how it works inside. But uh, judging by the way this is, I'm guessing that... Uh, Maybe Miles was different because I don't yeah, see. Yeah, I think all three of them were different. Two. Um, well, oh yeah, two. Because sorry, I'm thinking about uh, AMC yeah. cups. But I mean, uh, so it's a Century Marks. Uh, Cinemarks uh, cups had uh, Spider Gwen Morales and Twenty Nine. Um, you'll see a link to the review to those up there. It's um, kind of weird though because if they had that over there, they probably should have yeah. had three heads. But I'm not. I'm kind of. I love the way it looks. I do wish it would have been like I actually said a bit more of a bust like. Um, this is actually how they come in the box. So they come in that box right there. Um, I do wish we could. I would wish we could have gotten Miles Morales, but I do like this one. It did does still kind of fit a little bit, but I'm glad I got it. Yeah, I'm glad I got it too because I got one too. Um, um, because I know once I see it on the shelves and everything, I will regret not getting it. Yeah, the only I guess with this one, this one would only be got. Which should only be well, that should only be got. But the main draw of this one is if you're a huge Spider-Man fan or you just love collecting buckets. Um, if you're not one of those two things, I don't think this is going to be for you. I mean, I am a fan of all this and just seeing it, like, I like it, but it's still, it'll probably just go on a shelf and stand display and probably never be touched again. For me, um, I think she's awesome, but she does freak me out. I'll be putting a blanket over her. <laughs> no, no, it's <laughs> because, awesome. Yeah, but she's freaky because it's like, she's like a disbodied head. I mean, yeah. are you trying to be, I mean, are you doing something for Halloween? See, my issue, I kind of, I kind of think I should have put more texture yeah. on this or maybe like added a black outline for the webs because to, to be honestly, that kind of looks like skin. Like I know she heard the inside of her hood is supposed to be like this color in the comics or costume, like, I don't know. but I feel like the webs should have been like maybe painted black just for some texture and depth because honestly, that looks like, yeah, a cross hatching. Sorry, but honestly, that looks like like a snake is trying to swallow her head and that's inside of a snake mouth uh so that's my only issue with the design again i'm not a fan of how the popcorn goes in uh that's kind of annoying i wish we would have maybe had like the top open instead you know like the monkey head in indiana jones um but this is still pretty cool if you want to have it for the collection if you're a spider-man fan uh, but again like i said personally for me i'm glad i got it but it's probably going to go on a shelf with my other comic book stuff for display only. As a Spider-Man fan, I think it's awesome. Um, yeah, I love it. I still find it very creepy still, so I don't want to be looking at her a lot. <laughs> yeah, because it looks like a dune worm is yeah. eating her head. I mean, it'll probably be cool for a party. Like, if a party's coming up and you want to show your buckets off, or if you have a theater room. I mean, that's cool. Like, if you don't have to, like, sleep in the same room as it. <laughs> for me, that's just me. Yeah. But I think 
it's awesome. They could have just done some kind of texture on her hood. Because she just looks like a disembodied ghost head. I don't know. Being eaten by a creature. Because yeah. I, I honestly look like, like, like mouth skin. And it does kind of freak I me mean, out. It kind of reminds me of, or maybe it's just, it reminds me more of Venom than, than a spider. Yeah, it, it's just a little weird looking for me. Like, I get that's her color scheme. I get that's her costume. I wish I would have done a little bit more on the inside. I mean, I get this probably has to, has to be made cheaply so I can get the most profit. But I just wish it would have been a little different on the inside there. But yeah, but yeah, I don't know. She's like... But still awesome. Still love it. Uh, I'm still very glad I got it. I do kind of wish I could have gotten Miles Morales. But apparently he sold out pretty quickly. Um, I think I think it's because the reason she reminds me more of Venom than Spider-Gwen is because it's eating her. And I know that's her hood, but it's just, yeah. I mean, I think that's our biggest beef. I'm I'm a collector, so I do want it. Um, but it's like a thing that if I would have gotten it, I would have been heartbroken. Yeah, but I'm same. Glad I got it. Yeah, same. I love Spider Gwen. I'm glad I got it. But yeah, just like she said, I probably wouldn't have been too heartbroken if I hadn't gotten it. Just like I love Miles Morales, but I'm not too heartbroken I didn't get his. Kind of a little heartbroken I didn't get the Little Mermaid one. So I'm a little I'm heartbroken kind of about that one myself. That one uh, but this one, I love it. I got it. Um, I mean, the, mostly we got it because, I, you know, we had the opportunity, she was there, and I am a Spider-Man fan, and she's kind of my favorite, uh, and it'll go with my cup, so to be honest, I got it to be, like, a set with my cup. Yeah, this, this'll go with my Spider-Man 2099 cup, that, again, if you watch the link, you'll see that review for that, it'll go with that very well, too. So it'll be really cool on the shelf with that, so it'll give it, even though it's creepy, it'll give my cup something, because yeah. it's like a, and now it's kind of like, it reminds me of a set, even though it isn't. I mean, I know, that's true, it reminds me of a cool set, I mean, again, maybe you want to like, bring it to a convention or something, you know, like, maybe I like, eat popcorn with your friends in, the, in your hotel room for a convention, it might be good for that. Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some people out there who love this disembodied design, though, yeah. everybody likes their own things. If you like it, then yay. Um, but personally, it's not my favorite yeah. of all the buckets we've gotten so no, it far. Isn't my, my favorite for her, but I do love but it. But I do love it, yeah. Okay, so it's not my favorite, but I'm glad I got it. Yeah, no, exactly. It still freaks me out. I'll put a blanket over it if I had to sleep in the same room as it. But if it was like on a collector's shelf or my theater room, I'd be okay with it. No, exactly. I love it. I'm very glad I got it. But, you know, I, again, although I, at this specific point. The only reason we got it is because we love it. Yeah. Women. Exactly, but at this specific point, I don't think any of them, with the exception of Dom's Charger, maybe, actually comes close to the Optimus Prime one. So that could be why, um, you know, I'm still thinking of the Optimus one. So that could be. I mean, the only other yeah. one that came really close and was really awesome was the D and D dice, which we never got. We we seen friends and we touch friends, but those D and D dice actually they those sold out almost immediately. Yeah. So by the time we got to the theater on like Thursday evening, That's they cool. were gone. Like I was super upset about that. I mean, that's, that thing is our, my only regret about Buckets that we didn't get to get this year. Otherwise than that, um, the ones that made up for that and missing that is the Charger, Dom's Charger, and, yeah, and Optimus Prime. Prime. Yeah. Uh, so far the year, though, top three would probably would more than more than I have to be Optimus Prime, Optimus Dom's Prime. Charger. Oh, no, from AMC. Yeah. Um, Dom's, uh, Optimus Prime, Dom's Charger, and the Rocket Raccoon one. Um, but if we're, if we're going to add in the Cinemark one, then it's definitely tied for first place for Optimus Prime's head in the trailer. Another thing I'm hoping to get is, I'm hoping to track down the one from Thailand. Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia, sorry, Malaysia. I'm obsessed with that one, which is Bumblebee. I was hoping that the U.S., they yeah. would have in the U.S., but they don't. See, that's what I liked about the Bumblebee, the Optimus Prime head. Sorry, yeah. sorry, man. The Optimus Prime head was done a little right than this yeah, one. Like, a, yeah, it's a head. I um, think it might just be the hood. The hood probably what causing it to be a little weird. Um, it might have been a better bet to go with 2099 and Miles Morales. Or just have her hood like down here. Like yeah, or maybe, maybe have like her hood gathered around her shoulders. So instead of having her shoulders, have her hood gathered around the so shoulders. I guess she has a hood, I get. Or maybe a little, her face a little out more. Yeah, so something a little bit different than that because that, that is a little yeah, bit of weird design. This isn't, it is, the problem isn't it's a head. The problem because I love the Optimus Prime, the Bumblebee. Yeah, so oh my yeah. God, I love those. It's just, the problem is this weird hood design they did there. I think what I love though is the feel of it. It actually has a nice feel. It's heavy, and it, it's being a Spider-Man fan. Yeah, it's actually nice and to have because it's, it's just nice. It feels pretty. It's like yeah. kind of. It feels kind of. Like I pick it up, you can see the weight. It feels yeah. It's got weight to it. It feels tough, and I'm sure if you like smack it with really hard the piece of something metal, it would break. But um, it seems like you could at least handle a drop or two, um, if you were to like, have it slip from your hands, which is which is what I like about it too. Um, but again, I probably want everything for popcorn though. That's gonna be my, that's gonna be my collection. I think mostly, uh, I was excited for her, and I got her when I got the opportunity was for my cup. 
Because I do, that would be like, it would look like it's a set even though they didn't come from the same place. Yeah, yeah, that would look very good. Um, but if you got one of these or you got Miles Morales, let us know what do you think about them. Um, what would you change about them? What was your favorite feature about them? I know for me personally, I would I would change where the popcorn goes in. You know, I'm kind of not a fan of that right there. Uh, it's also a little annoying to close. Like, it takes some force to close it. Uh, which is a bit of a hassle. I kind of forget it's closed easy. Um, but I get, I understand that, though, because of the popcorn, from the openings on the back. And you tilt it back, it could spill out. I feel like the hole in the head, a different shape on top because the hole in the back of that is so small. When you try to stick your hand in there, you try to yank it out. It's not going to be fun. Yeah, it's kind of a Pringles can all over yeah. again. <laughs> so, I like, mean, it was not good for use, but it's good for, like, a collection. Like, especially, like, if it's full, you know, that's, like, the bottom bits. Like, especially, like, behind the mask here, that might get a little bit annoying. It also seems like it'd be a real hassle to clean. I mean, I get, I get, you can probably just put some salt water in there and switch it around, but I thought it'd be a real hassle to clean as well. Let me just... Yeah, oh, there we just, go. I just, just, I mean, like, with my cup, it's going to be a nice collection. Yeah. Nice addition to our movie room. Oh, no, glad I got it. Again, not my top favorite design, but I am such a fan of Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen that I'm glad I got it. Yes. Tell us what you're looking forward to, which buckets you're looking forward to, which well, I'm looking forward to the Barbie one. Yeah. And hopefully they'll have a cool one for Angela Jones and the Flash buckets. Yeah, so the Flash ones actually do light up. I'm hoping to get our hands on those to do a review on those. You should see that coming sometime in the next week. Yeah. Um, we'll try and keep you guys updated as to what's coming for Indiana Jones, if we can find that out ourselves. One of the um, things we're trying to hope to get to is the Flash Cup. See, that's one thing I love about this is that Cinemark has a Flash Cup and AMC has the buckets, and they all look like they go together. So yeah, this no, is that's exactly true. The same thing with the Gwens. Yeah, that's true. You can make it like like a set from two different theater chains. You can make it a set. Nobody will know until they look in the bottom. Exactly. Cinema <laughs> AMC. But still, let us know what your thoughts on these were. Um, do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you have the set? Do you have the set? Um, how does Miles differ from uh, Spider Gwen? I'm guessing they open the same way. Um, but just let us know what you think about them. And what you're looking forward to. Involved. Yeah, yeah, and until next time, this is Adriel signing off. And this is Naomi signing off. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and we'll see you next time.